Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wristwatch Wednesday. Today we have something unique. We have a 1986 Timex, and I checked that by the date code on the back. Uh, the number on the back of that says, let me grab it real quick. Uh, there's a little 17 on the number back of that, and you can put that in that decoder on online. I'll put a link to it below and, and get the idea of the date of your watch. Up. But this is a unique watch because it has the checkerboard dial. Um, that may be hard for you to see. There we go. There you can see it a little better as we move it around. Um, and it has what I think they call it like a graduated number scale. So they, they start small, get bigger, 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 all the way around to 12. So really cool funky 1980s era watch. Uh, this is labeled as a unisex watch everywhere I see it, so you could be for men or women. Uh, this is, in my opinion, more of the feminine band. It's kind of a pearly, iridescent looking type, glowy, sparkly band. Uh, it is genuine leather, um, so it is, uh, it's actually uh, still in really great shape for being a 1986. Um, I assume that's the original band. Uh, it has the normal black hour hands, a red second hand um, silver case. Uh, and then uh, it does take, and this is how you can tell the age of it, it does take a Timex M cell, which if you go to one of the battery charts on the internet, and I'll link to one below that, that shows you that, it's like a 389, 390 battery, something like that. So still pretty easy to find a replacement for those. Um, let's go ahead and get some specs on this. Um, looks like the dial with the crown. Let's do it that way this time. That's almost, that's about 34 and a half, 34 and three quarters, almost 35. Uh, lug width is uh, 19, so it takes an 18 band, it looks like. And then let's go a lug to lug on this one with. That's going to be about a 37 or so. Now, some people will say, well, that's too small of a watch for a man. But let's get, let me take off my 65 Timex Viscount. Um, and let's compare the sizes side by side. Uh, it's very similar in size. The Viscount may eke out a little bit. It has a little thicker bezel around it. Let's get, uh, let's get the case with the crown size on this one. We're about the same, 35.56. Uh, now the difference is we have a we have a little bit thicker crown, I'll call it, um, but the dial size, case size are very similar. So um, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I might uh, I might put a different band on it and keep this one in the collection because 86. Hey, that's back in my heyday. <laughs> that's uh, that was a fun time for me. Um, so. I may keep this one in the collection. It's unique. I like it. Uh, I think they go for around 50 to 75 bucks on eBay at the moment, Etsy, that era, or those type of stores. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think I should do with this one? I think with, uh, uh, with a nice leather band, maybe even a NATO band, uh, we may do another video update on this one as we, we try to decide what to do with it uh, to, to make it more... I don't, I don't want to say manly, but yeah, to just, uh, you know, fix it up a bit, get it, uh, get it newer. Although this band is in great shape, it, it does have some discoloring. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, genuine leather, 1986. Uh, kind of just a cool watch. I like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think that's all we're going to have for this one. Just a quick one and more, more to come on this watch. We'll see you next time.